My name is John Lozana and this is lesson two in my rhythmic phrasing ideas. If you've watched lesson one, you'll know what the rhythmic phrase is, but just to remind you, it is one E and a two E and a three E and a four and. If I play that through sixteenth now, it's a little bit quicker. One E and a two E and a three E and a four and. Okay? In lesson one, we use the idea for some drum fills and up-off cymbals and that type of thing. In this lesson, we're going to be developing some four-way coordination and independence for what's to come. Uh, remember to do this stuff slowly at first because your muscle memory is being trained. And um, count also is going to help you. If you don't do these things and it's sloppy, then that's what your muscle memory is going to remember. So when you come to speed this stuff up and use it musically, it's pretty much going to be sloppy and you won't really be happy with it. So if you do it right in the beginning, slow with counting and to a click if you can, then great. Okay, so there's four exercises in this lesson. There's going to be a basic ostinato, which everybody knows. The normal 4-4 four, four beat for the bass drum on 1 and 3, back beat 2 and 4, 8th notes, and if you can, quarter notes in the left foot. Everybody learns that beat first of all. So the rhythmic phrase is going to start off in the bass drum whilst the other limbs are playing the beat or their respective parts. Then we move the rhythmic phrase to the snare drum, then to the ride cymbal, and then to the left foot in the hi-hat. So let's go through this slowly first of all. So we'll get the rhythmic phrase in the bass drum first of all. So let's get the other limbs going. One and two and two and two. Okay, number two, the rhythmic phrase will go on the snare drum. So the other three limbs will be playing this. Don't worry about that little mistake. Uh, next, the rhythmic phrase will go to the ride cymbal. So the other three limbs will be playing this. And lastly, the rhythmic phrase in the left foot. So the other three limbs will be playing this. Okay. The more intermediate advanced drummers will be able to do this anyway, but uh, it's good just to um, sometimes go back to this sort of stuff, just to refresh yourself. Uh, the more beginners slash intermediate who don't know this stuff, um, stick with it because your drumming will benefit greatly from playing this four-way independent stuff slowly. Okay, so if we, if we speed all this stuff up uh, back to back, it should sound like this.
Well, that's lesson two. Happy diddling. Uh, hope this is of benefit to you and look forward to seeing you in lesson three.